Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm here to share with you my finale for lip service. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And for this project, I like to focus in on my bullet lipsticks, mid range to high end. And my goal is to use a quarter of the bullet. And every year I up the number of lip products I want to hit that goal on by one. So like this year, I wanted to hit that goal on 22 lip products. This year I also included a new caveat uh, and component to this project, and that is to work on my deluxe size samples to finish. So I've only finished two. I'm working on my third, <laughs> but I am happy to say I have two lip products that can roll out of the project. I'm going to be rolling over, I think most of these into 2023. There's one I may remove and I haven't made a decision yet, but let me share with you the two that I did hit my goal on. Oh, and I did not mention this, but I work on 10 bullet lipsticks at a time and then one deluxe size sample. I had eight going into the project last month because I didn't roll in any new products due to the fact that we were getting close to the end of the year. Now let me tell you the ones that hit my goal on. <laughs> the first one is by Pat McGrath. This is the Lux Trans Lipstick in Unfaithful. So typical packaging and here is the shade. This is beautiful. I didn't really realize I hit my goal on this until I measured it today. It's like right on the money. This is a beautiful, beautiful lip product. I love it so much. The next one I hit my goal on is, this is, I'm excited about this one. This is by Tarte. It's the Color Splash Lipstick in Escape. I'm excited about this because it's kind of like a pinky red and these are hard for me to use. So there's the shade. I'm so happy this one goal on this is met. And I think I've had this one in this project twice. You can tell like it's pretty well loved. Like for example, this one is fairly unused. This is Island Life. So you can see there the difference. Oh, hold on. There we go. So yeah, yay, very exciting. All right, so those are the two that I can roll out. Let me share with you the six that are left and then I'll this first one is the one that I think I'm going to roll out this is Marc Jacobs lip creme Lamarck lip creme in infamous and the only reason why I want to roll this out is because I it's, it's kind of a lighter color for right now in my opinion and not that I can't wear it because I can and you know I may just continue using it until the end of the year to see what how far I get but I think, I mean, I did make really good progress on this in the last month. Yeah, I'm about over, I'm over halfway to my goal, but just around that. So I still have a ways to go on this one. This is a beautiful color. I just, right now it's kind of like a mixer. The next one I barely have any use on. I don't know how that's possible because I feel like I've used this. MAC Luster Lipstick in Capricious. So typical MAC packaging. And here is the shade. I mean, I had this in my purse, so maybe that's why, but I thought I used it a, a decent amount. There's no progress though. Next from Bite Beauty, I have Mauvember from 2016. And here is the shade. Still smells fine. It's not irritating my lips. I love this color, which is why I'm trying to get use on it. And I am about halfway to my goal on this one. This one will definitely stay in the project. From YSL, I have the Rouge Pour Couture Lipstick in the shade number 121. This is Arlene's Nude. You can see that YSL packaging there. This color is gorgeous. I love this one so much. There's the shade. Oh, I love it. This one, I made pretty steady progress since the last month. So I'm thinking I might be able to roll this out before... The intro next month, we will see. And just as an FYI, I am going to continue to work on these because I want to hit my goal on them. So I may see which ones, like at the beginning, at the end of December, which ones I truly have hit my goal on, if any, other than these two in this project. And, um, and then I'll officially start with new ones at the beginning of the year. The next one is Lancome. This is the Le Absolu Rouge Cream Lipstick in Crushed Rose. Here's the packaging. You just click this 
Alyssa comes out the bottom. This one, I, I don't know, guys. I've used and I don't even have, I, don't, I can't even mark any progress on this. I don't even know how that's possible. I mean, there's a little bit of progress, but not enough to make a new line. Anyway, working on it. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful color. Did I show it? I don't know. It's gorgeous. And then the last lip product full size that I'm working on is by Becca. This is the Ultimate Love Lipstick in Souffle. This is going to be a quick update. Look at me go. There's the lip product. This one's a really beautiful color as well. It's also a great mixer. So there we go. I like to mix it with the one from Marc Jacobs. I'll show you what this looks like because I love mixing lipsticks. One of my favorite things to do. There we go. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Anyway, I do have some usage on this one. It's about a third of the way down to what I need to get to. I didn't have any progress on it last month. And then the last little product I'm working on is by Bobbi Brown. This is the Lux Lip Color in Neutral Rose. It is my little mini deluxe eye sample. I have pretty steady progress on this one. Here's the shade. Oh, it's such a nice color. Don't look at my face. Don't focus on my face. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, this one still has a ways to go. I didn't show you the... There's still ways to go on this one. <laughs> So anyway, those are the six lip products I am still working on. We'll see what I can get done. I may just try to focus on this and get it out, the Marc Jacobs one, and especially if I combine it with the Becca lipstick. But yeah, that's what I've got going on right now. So the way I've managed this project in the past is kind of what I already mentioned in, in, during the bulk of this video, <laughs> is that I'll, work, I'll continue to work on these. I may stop on December 31st and share with you which ones I was able to roll out, if any, by the end of the year. And then I can incorporate some new lippies and decide which ones I want to take out of the project and which ones I want to continue to work on, etc. And I did not share this with you, but let's see. I am happy to say that I hit my goal of a quarter use on each bullet on 28 lip products. So I surpassed my goal of 22, which is awesome. I'm so excited about that. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Without lipstick on my teeth. I don't know how long it was there. I'm sorry. Hi. Hey, bud. Oh. You here to say hi to everybody? Look at the sixter. Uh-huh. Hi. Oh, you sleepy? Hi, precious boy. Hi. You got some lipstick on you. I wonder who did that. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> He's cute. I'm sorry, am I not allowed to stop? You should lay down. <laughs> oh my, he needs the love and attention. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update. No, not update. Not update.
And then the land, the, no, not the Lancome. So anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ah, dang it. But anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Without lipstick all over my teeth. It's still there. I have to do that again. third time. Holy moly. Okay, bye.